Well, what's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? I'm Rugby Juice Recipes. Welcome back to my channel. So, man, I've been wanting to make this video for a really, really, really long time. I think that it was in July, at the beginning of July, Bull City Flavors had a sale, you know, so I was going to pick up some flavors and, uh, you know, a lot of ones that I didn't have. And when I went on there, they have Perillum flavors now, which I didn't actually own a whole lot of because, you know, I don't, I don't really shop very frequently at, at places other than Bull City. I had like a couple of Perillum flavors. I think I had their peanut butter cookie and maybe one other one, but that was really it. So I was really, really stoked to see that Bull City flavors uh, had Perillum flavors. So I picked up quite a few of them during their 4th of July sale. And uh, I was absolutely blown away by this flavor uh, to the point where I, I started tweaking with it so much that I had to buy more of it. And uh, I was just just using a ton of it for a lot of, for a lot of different stuff. And it was kind of like, it was kind of like one of those flavors that when I tasted it the first time, um, I was immediately like, I really, really liked what was going on there a lot. But then the more that I played with it, the more like different stuff that I unlocked that I could potentially do with it and use it for, it was like the missing ingredient in so many different profiles that I've been trying to perfect for like years and years and years and years. I've heard a lot of good stuff about Perillum flavors, especially over the last year or so. Um, the more that I kind of immerse myself in the in the in the world of, of DIY YouTubing, uh, and uh, it was I think probably about a year ago I was on a developed show and we made a, a Brazilian lemonade, and the boys the boys over there at developed used Perillum condensed milk, which I've heard uh, a lot of rave reviews of, and uh, I was really sad because I didn't have that flavor. And, uh, you know, they used it for like texture and, 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 you know, just to add more depth. So I don't remember what I ended up adding to my mix, uh, but they just could not put it in there. But you know, that's not the flavor um, that I want to talk about today, at least. Perlin condensed milk is really good. I do have that one now. So, yeah, I have been wanting to make this video pretty much probably since the end of July, uh, when I, you know, kind of started to perfect this recipe. Of course, then COVID happened, and then when COVID was better, uh, couldn't taste anything for a long time. So here we are. It's, uh, what, three months later, and finally getting around to talking about my new favorite flavor. It is Perillum Nilla Wafer Milk. So a couple things. Um, I've never tried F.A. Milk before. Everybody really, really likes F.A. Milk, but it's, it's just, it's too much hassle for me to have to import it from, uh, you know, from Chef's Flavors across, you know, on the other side of the globe. It's just, it's just too much effort, you know, not that I really have to do anything extra special. It's just, I, I really like Bull City Flavors, man, and I, I buy everything from them, and I don't really feel the need to go anywhere else. So, you know, I... I have milks, I have lots of other milks, but everyone says that none of them are comparable to F.A. milk, and um, unfortunately, I've never been able to try it. But the milk note that I get from Perillum Nilla Wafer and Milk is really, really, really satisfying. Um, so a lot of milks, they're either like kind of putrid and uh, they've got that butyric thing going on where it just, it just tastes like bile, like stomach acid, like I just burped, or they're really kind of plain and bland and they don't have any texture and they're kind of dry. Um, typically when I want to do something with milk, I use some combination of like Flavor West yogurt and then like maybe a cookie to give it a little bit more texture, maltiness, or I do something with Wonder Flavors Super Concentrate Milk is pretty good. It tastes like milk. Uh, I don't think that it's really anything special, but Perillum Nilla Wafer and Milk is so, so very good. Uh, immediately, like it, you get this, you get this like creamy 
dairy. It's, it's smooth. Uh, it's really thin. You know, it's not like that thick dappy milk. It's, it just tastes like milk. And then on the finish, you get this kind of like gritty biscuity flavor, but it's not super duper buttery, which is something that I really, really like about it. And like I said, as I was playing with this flavor and using it and, you know, for lots of different applications, I slowly just discovered that it's kind of just the missing ingredient in, in a lot of profiles that I've been trying to perfect. You could, you know, use it in cheesecakes, you could use it in ice creams, you could, today we're going to use it in a milk recipe, you know, lo and behold. Um, a lot of people at least a lot of a lot of mixers will add, you know, some something to make a, a, a milkshake or a milk a little bit more malty or make it convincing, give it a little bit more texture. They'll add cookie to it. Specifically, I've seen FA cookie added, you know, anywhere between half a percent to one and a half percent to milk or milkshake recipes to try to give that milk a little bit more texture give it a little bit of a grit, you know, but you don't have to do that uh, with Perillum you know, the wafer and milk, uh, it's already got the grit in there. And it's not, you know, it, it is not an abundance of cookie. It's called Nilla wafer and milk, but to me, it's milk and Nilla wafer. So one of the first things that I wanted to do with it, because I really, really wanted a really good strawberry milk for a long time, was to make a strawberry milk recipe. That seems like strawberries are something that is very, very polarizing in the DIY community. Either you love a strawberry or you hate a strawberry. There doesn't really seem to be any in-between in there. Um, a lot of them I like, you know, I like Capella Sweet Strawberry, Jungle Flavor Sweet Strawberry, TPA Strawberry, Regular. I like One-on-One -on -one Strawberry Jam. I like a lot of them except Alpine Strawberry. Don't really care for that one too much. Uh, what is that one? Vape Train Baked Strawberries. That flavor is incredibly unique and very, very good. Um, but, you know, as far as just like regular strawberry flavor goes, what even is that? You know, <clears throat> I often ask myself that question and I've posed that question to some other individuals before. And, and he, it's, again, something that's very polarizing. Nobody can seem to agree on what a strawberry should taste like. I can describe a strawberry flavor. I can tell you whether it's artificial or whether it's natural, whether it's ripe or whether it's jammy, cooked, sweet. I can describe it, but that doesn't mean that that's what a strawberry should taste like to you. It seems like everybody has a different idea of what a strawberry should taste like, and uh, nobody can really agree on it. So I'm sure you know that somebody is going to say that, well... Uh, I'm going to use this strawberry in here and say, you know what? Do it. If that's the strawberry that you like, then do it. Strawberry milk. What strawberry should we use? Well, for the milk part, we are going to use 4% of Perillum vanilla wafer and milk. And that is going to be what makes up most of this profile. It's got the milk. It's got the grit. And I think that it has excellent texture. It's very, very, very good. Um, something that I need, though, is a little bit more volume from that dairy note. So I added 1% of Perillum condensed milk in there. And that just kind of fills out that dairy note, really, really takes that texture to the next level without making it super duper dappy. It makes it creamy and sticky. Add some much needed sweetness to it. All right. What about the strawberry note? Well, I've come upon this combination that I really, really liked. And again, it was Develop's fault that I stumbled upon this combination because they've used it, I think, in two of their recipes. And I really, really like it. And that is the combination of Wonder Flavors Strawberry Gummy Candy and Wonder Flavors Strawberry Cheesecake. I hear tell that Strawberry Mutes, people that have a hard time tasting strawberries, can taste this combination. I myself am not a strawberry mute, but I can still taste this combination, and it is absolutely delicious. So um, I went with 3% of Strawberry Cheesecake and 2% of strawberry gummy candy. And you get just this really nice artificial strawberry taste. It's a little bit sticky. It's sweet. It's very, very good. And the, the, the cream note that the cheesecake adds to it just, <clears throat> excuse me, the cream note that the cheesecake adds to it just furthers that strawberry milk experience. This recipe is banging. So as far as steep time goes, um, you're going to want to let this one steep probably for at least three or four days um, to really kind of let that milk and that 
Nilla wafer kind of develop, it gets really, really good. You can pick up on all of that nuance and that really strong, milky, dairy taste. It's strawberry milk, man. It's good. I've been using just like a quarter of a percent of Capella Super Sweet in here. I find that works really, really well. It's sweetening up that overall, you know, artificial strawberry taste while not overpowering it with a bunch of sweetness or muting it out with, uh, you know, some some unnecessary ingredients or an unnecessary amount of sweeteners. It's a quarter percent, just like a drop in a 10 mil of Capella you know, Super Sweet. Just Perillum, Perillum, man, Perillum, hats off to you. Nilla wafer and milk. It is a, it's a, just a fantastic flavor. It's, listen, if you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe to the channel. There's a link to my Patreon campaign down in the description of this video. Don't forget to like the video. Comment down below what you think about uh, Nilla wafer and milk by Perillum. What you think about this recipe or, or what your strawberry of choice is. What strawberry would you put in here? I think that about does it for this one. We'll definitely see you guys in the next one.